good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I'm very delighted to speak here. I'm Li Zheng, the Executive Vice President of ICCSD, Tsinghua University. My speech is Nature-Based Solutions, Progress in China. As you may have noticed, on September 22nd, at the 75th United Nations General Assembly, President Xi Jinping announced China's pledge for realizing carbon neutrality before 2060. He emphasized that humankind can no longer afford to ignore the repeated warnings of nature. It will be very dangerous that we continue fighting nature, extracting resources without investing in conservation. This gives, gives a truly clear indication that nature-based solutions should play a critical role in achieving climate goals. The concept of NBS was first put forward by World Bank in 2008. Since then, there are various derivations of the concept in all dimensions. However, there are two stable key elements about NBS remaining constant. Firstly, it aims to solve the multiple societal challenges, including climate change mitigation and adaptation, environmental degradation and biodiversity loss, disaster risk reduction, economic and social development, human health, food and water security, and so on. Secondly, it did so through the protection, management, and the restoration of ecosystems, such as forest, farmland, grassland, wetland, and coastal areas. They can be natural or modified. NBS has a great possibility to synergize climate and biodiversity. It is as estimated that NBS has the potential to contribute about 30% of the emission reductions needed to meet the goal of Paris Agreement, while dramatically protecting the, the biodiversity through ecosystem management. In this way, NBS itself is a co-governance of addressing climate change and protecting biodiversity. As a frontier concept at the international level, NBS actually has deep historical roots in Chinese culture, philosophy, and even in daily life. It has a lot of similarities with and is equivalent in many aspects to a popular and mainstream discourse today in China society. As called as ecolization, ecological civilization, which calls for better understanding and better use of the ecological value of the earth and pursues the harmonious coexistence between human and the nature. Since ecological civilization has already been widely appreciated and set up a system of strategy, policy, plans, standards, and actions in China, it can be imagined that by incorporating NBS into ecological civilization framework, NBS could play a bigger role in benefiting climate and biodiversity in China and can ultimately help build a shared future for all life on Earth. China has carried out a series of NBS actions in various sectors. On September 23, 2019, China launched the, the Compendium of Contributions of Nature-Based Solutions, which includes 34 best practices from China, covering key sectors as forestry, agriculture, ocean, wetland, biodiversity, 
desertification prevention, and so on. Furthermore, an up to 2035 master plan on national major ecosystem protection and remediation programs was published in May 2020 with the aim to deploy and implement an integrated system including mountain, river, forest, farmland, lake, and grass. Following goals are planned for 2035. Forest coverage reaches 26%. So the vegetation coverage of grassland reaches 60%. 60% of wetlands are protected. Natural coastline retention rate is not less than 35%. 18% of the terrestrial area will be protected. NBS is deemed to pursue multiple benefits of environment, climate, biodiversity, and so on to help sustainable development. Therefore, we regard NBS as a deeper insight about the relationship of human and nature. As new measures for the global fight against climate change, and as a new and fresh support for the sustainable development goals. To promote NBS globally, China works closely with different parties of the world. For example, in March 2019, China and France issued the Joint Declaration on Upholding Multilateralism and Strengthening Global Governance. Then, in April, China and New Zealand issued the Joint Declaration on Climate Change. What worth to mention is that in December 2019, at COP25 in Madrid, China's chief re representative, Minister Zhao Yingmin, delivered a speech saying that China will try hard to overcome the problems and the difficulties originated by unilateralism and protectionism, persistently carry out the national strategy addressing climate change and fulfill its commitments with the aim to make contributions to the construction of ecological, global ecological civilization and the community with a shared future for mankind. The nature-based solutions for climate manifesto launched jointly by China and other countries on December 14, 2019, proposed the following priorities. Increasing and mainstreaming NBS within national governance. Enhancing regional and international collaboration. Generating the shifts needed in both domestic and international governance and finance to value nature and realize the potential of NBS. Scaling up NBS for mitigation, resilience, and adaptation in key areas. In September 2019, United Nations Climate Action Summit was held in New York. NBS has been listed as one of the nine tracks for accelerating climate actions. China and New Zealand were invited to co-lead the NBS coalition. My colleagues in ICCSD and I joined the New York summit, where we learned about the concept of NBS and realized, realized its importance to deal with climate change and also the necessity for it to be promoted in an interdisciplinary and cross-sector style. This inspired us to have initiated the climate change and NBS cooperation platform in this April. We are trying to unite the efforts of all parties in China and abroad through monthly workshops to spread the latest global information of NBS in China and, and, and at the same time 
tell China's NBS stories to the world. Till now, they have organized seven workshops with different themes, such as the NBS concept and history, methodology, international standards and experiences, China's best, practice, best practices, and China's carbon neutrality pledge. Our workshop was quite sensational and caused broad attention. For example, once a time, we have nearly 2,000 people joined us in the open to public webinar. To further advance NBS in China, it is imperative to continue building science-based evidence, which will lead to more recognition of the value of NBS. ICCSD, my institute, is keen to co collaborate with our partners to identify NBS pathways and its economic feasibility. It is also imperative to provide funding to integrate NBS into planning and uh, implementation. To incorporate robust NBS into climate and sectoral policies, and also to build strong partnership to push for global change. In summary, China has made sound progress in NBS and will continue to promote NBS in and outside China, and would like to contribute Chinese wisdom to global issues on climate change, biodiversity, and other sustainable to development topics. This concludes my speech today. I thank you for your attention.